we can show what uh, what happens uh, when we change the different uh, dimensions that drive the mechanism. So for example, if I go here on the position of the tensioner, you can define a step of variation, uh, 0.5 here, and then if you vary this position, you see how all the geometry of the chain is changing. I think you can see when I do that, the, the geometry of the chain is adapting to the change of the position of the tensioner that I am uh, making at the moment. Uh, also, when we rotate the, the system, if I define an angle of rotation here on the uh, sprocket on the right, you can see that the sprocket on the left is also uh, rotating. So the benefit of that is that uh, it allows to know um, it allows to know when we have one defined angle on the uh, right sprocket, what will be the resulting angle on the left sprocket, for example. So if I create an angle between here and here, and I uh, switch the angle to the um, left side like that, uh, I know that uh, for an angle of 4.46 degrees on the right, I'm going to have 39.5 degrees on the left. And I can do a tolerance analysis on that. And uh, the I think the power of Inventive on this application is that uh, here we have really created a tolerance stack that uh, involves uh, all the chain elements. You know, it really involves um, if you look at the length of the list, we will see that uh, there are all the floats of uh, present between all the chain elements that are displayed. Uh, then we find as well all the lengths of each individual chain, le chain, chain link uh, present in the list. So it gives a number of contributors that is very big, maybe uh, 80 contributors in this analysis.